the Smeg toaster has a bagel function and this is the button on the right hand side. When pressing this button in conjunction with one of the browning levels around the dial, the bread will be toasted on just one side. When using the bagel function, the toaster will heat up only the outer elements. Therefore, when placing the bread into the toaster, place the cut half on the outside. To activate the bagel function, push the lever down and press the bagel button to activate the outer elements only. The bagel or other types of bread, including French baguette, crumpets and burger buns, will all come out with the outer side toasted and the inner side soft. The toaster has several browning levels. These are not minutes around the dial, but are browning levels to ensure your bread is perfectly toasted every time. The levels go from one all the way up to six. Once you have selected your browning level, push the lever down and the machine will start to toast. To stop the toaster at any point, simply press the illuminated stop button to release the bread. This toaster also has a defrost function. This allows you to toast bread straight from the freezer and still produce the perfect level of browning. Firstly, select the browning level around the dial. Push the lever down and press the defrost button on the left to start the program. This function can also be used for sandwich racks to create the perfect toasty, producing golden results on the outside with a fully warmed and melted centre. The toaster also has a reheat function. This is located on the other side to the browning levels on the dial. By selecting this function, the elements will emit a very gentle heat to ensure your toast is ready for when you need it. Perfect for toast you've forgotten about, or if you're making toast in batches to stop it getting cold. Simply pull the lever down on the reheat function. At the base of the toaster is the crumb tray. Rather than lifting the toaster upside down to remove crumbs, simply press the push button to release the stainless steel crumb tray, which can then be removed. Wash the crumb tray in warm, soapy water and make sure it is fully dried before reinserting into the toaster. Reinsert into the base of the toaster and click into place. 